Today, we're using gravel to make this place beautiful. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecraft. Well, hello, and welcome back to Adventures in Minecrafting. Just standing up here at my gold farm, watching all these little piglins coming in. Uh, we were on some inefficiencies with the piglins. They were falling off and making a mess of uh, XP balls down below. So I'm just standing up here watching them, trying to figure out where they're falling off. You'll notice I added a few more smooth stone guards back there, but it looks like looks like they're all funneling in just fine. Well, look at them crowding up, crowding up, giving me all that lovely, lovely XP. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go down and see uh, how we're doing. Welcome back. It's been a little while. Been on a little holiday hiatus. Look at all that XP coming in. Been on a little holiday hiatus. Had some uh, had an injury to my leg that I've been dealing with. Uh, but I'm back, and uh, we got a lot of good stuff planned for 2021. In fact, some uh, surprising stuff that uh, I'll let you know about hopefully soon. But let me show you what I've been doing here. Well, look, as soon as the XP balls come in. Oh, the XP balls. That's pretty trippy. I like it. Okay, come on down here. Let me show you what I've done. I've been working on the gold farm here, doing some upgrades. Oh, look at the ghost of the piglins falling. And uh, we got everything going through here, and I think this is the best order. If you've got a gold farm, this is the best order for pushing things through. I'm taking the gold nuggets out. Yeah, the ingots, not nuggets. Ingots out first. And those I'm shooting straight down to my piglin bartering farm. We'll go look at that in a second. And then the second thing is the nuggets. And I'm putting them all in a chest just down below. Third thing is the rotten flesh. Now, this is up to you if you want to go through the hassle of trading your rotten flesh with... Um, with villagers, that is perfectly fine, uh, but I don't. I just shoot all mine into lava right there. And then the final thing, so the only thing left should be the swords. And all of those I'm shooting right through this furnace, and that's giving me some more gold nuggets. In fact, let's go down a level and show you what we've got down here. So this is where all the nuggets come in. And let me tell you, I just emptied this out like five minutes ago, and yeah, there it is. Uh, so those we can turn into gold ingots and send down below. Over here is where the furnace comes down and brings it all over here. So we just just piling up the nuggets. In fact, let's take uh, let's take all these nuggets and craft them into ingots. Do do do. Where'd you go? <laughs> it moved it. There we go. Okay, craft all the ingots. We'll put this guy back up here and let's head down. Let me get my rockets in my bar and let's head down. Let's see if we've got any inefficiencies here. Ooh, look, something new. Okay, here we are. This is our piglin bartering farm. Yes, yeah, see, some of these guys are falling down and I cannot figure out where or why. That is just off. Huh, no idea. No idea. It's not like, I mean, it's not like my farm is not getting me gold so I, I guess i shouldn't worry about it just trying to trying to make it more efficient okay so let's toss these gold bars in here we got 12 down here boom boom turn that system on say hi to these guys hi guys hi guys you want to look at gold yeah yeah good gold okay give me stuff over here i've gone ahead and put it all into a sorting system now, I think some of these are outdated because we updated to 116. Let me see here. I think we have fire charges in there, but I'm not getting any through. I don't think fire charges is on here anymore, but we've got everything else. We've got the soils and the hides and the arrows and the, I mean, look at that. You got, you got, and I see, I, I was just crafting up iron just from iron nuggets. Uh, let's see. We've got, yep. Those are still coming in. Eyes. String. Who'd have thought this would be a string farm? Uh, let's see, got some black stone. Obsidian is coming in. Is it in here yet? No, it is coming in. You can still get obsidian. It's just slow. I think the same thing is true of, oh, I'm getting a little more crying obsidian. Gravel, they just give you too much, but we need this. We need this for what we're gonna do today. And then I left a couple open just in case they change anything in a future update. 
And look at this, we're getting we're getting books. There's another three, so we got a one, a couple twos, several threes. We're just we're just piling it in. So let's head back to the base and talk about what we are going to do in this episode. We oh, I love this path. Okay, back into the base. It's been a while. Ah, uh, here we go. I know, this is the... <laughs> the portal comes out in probably the ugliest part of the base. We do need to work on this, and that's in the plans. Uh, let's see. It looks like it's nighttime outside, so let's go have a little quick nap. Um, um, I don't... I don't know where my bed is. I don't know where my bed is. My bed used to be in here, but then we made that a smelter. Do I have a bed? Ah, there. I have a bed in here. I know I had a bed around here somewhere. There we are. And let's head on out here. Get my favorite view from on top of the barn. Oh, yeah. So you know what we're going to do today? This is what we're going to do today. And we're going to need this gravel to do it. I think it's about time that this area out here got cleaned up, got nicened up. We've got this central portion here to the village. I think it needs to look like a central portion. So we're going to begin working on some of that today. Maybe get some custom trees in here. I don't think, I don't think we're going to move the tree farm just yet, but I think eventually we're going to have to. Um, so we'll keep it forested for right now. But it's time to work on these paths. So let's get out the shovel here and let's start digging. like that we have a city center oh i'm loving it oh i'm loving it it's come together so well here you gotta you gotta see it from up here hold on let's go up here let's try not to out hit anything and there it is oh look at that look at that okay let's go down let's go down yes so now we have it fully, fully lighted here. Look at these fancy lanterns on the corner of this crossroads here. We did do some lighting uh, just to make sure no mobs spawn out here. You can walk all the way around. We've planted some lovely flowers and bushes and done a little planter action in here. And then if you follow the path up here, we go through, this is where the bell was, but we've replaced the old bell look, just hanging the bell on a little custom oak tree here. We've got some places to sit and play checkers or chess or Othello or whatever it is you play. And a little bench, a little bench to sit, let's sit on the bench. Oh yeah, looking up at the flower shop. Uh, yes, yes, okay. And then we, uh, we did some replacements. We brought the bricks in all along here and I extended it all the way out to the edges and uh, we'll extend it as we need to as we rebuild here's the old or this is the original marketplace we actually had two bells in our town which is odd but we had that and so if we come down here let me show you a little more let's go this direction a little view of the tree oh look at this it just looks like everything fits now you can walk around here. Our old ruined church has a nice little place in the center. Uh, we did some add some custom spruce trees here, and there's one other over here. I thought that was a good line of sight. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And the uh, the road continues all the way over here, 
right in front of the barn and continues out to our little sheep pen. Uh, I don't know if we're going to keep the sheep pen. I think we need a building here, but I don't, I haven't figured out what yet. So if you have ideas, let me know in the comments what building do we put right here or do we put a little shepherd's hut and let the shepherd take care of the sheep. But there you have it. Oh, look at that. Let's see it from the air. Let's go, let's go up and look at it from the air. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. I got tears. Tears coming down in my eyes. Oh, here's an old building. We should probably, we should probably throw a rocket on top of this building. I don't know why, but it just seems like a good idea. Oh, it's all coming together. Doesn't feel like we're just walking around on old Minecraft dirt when we're out here. Oh, look at that. So let's talk a little bit about palette here. Uh, why did I choose the colors I have chosen? Why did I choose to use the bricks? Well, you know, the first thing was we had a lot of bricks. When we were trading with these masons over here in the masons hall, we ended up with a whole lot of bricks. And I, I wasn't sure I was going to use it. Originally, I was going to use andesite. But then I noticed that bricks, the new brick texture, has these lovely grays in here that tie right in to the gravel. And I knew I wanted to use gravel for the path. Uh, I wanted it, uh, I didn't want it a, a completely asphalt look or a concrete look. I wanted something a little bit more natural, a little bit more organic. And so I went with the gravel. Uh, we broke it up a little bit. We put in some cobble. We put in some stone. There's some andesite throughout. And I've even used this light gray concrete, which I wasn't sure about. But then I decided to tell a little bit of a story. And if you notice, the light gray concrete tends to be where the lamps are, as if the, the lamps are casting just a little bit of light there and making it a little bit brighter shade uh, than the darker gray of the gravel. And then as we get to the edges over here, we, we put in some dirt. It makes sense outside of the greenhouse that people would be tracking mud in and out. Um, up here, we stuck with the bricks, but I wanted to lighten it up. I want to make it fun. And so here's where I brought in uh, the smooth andesite, the polished andesite, and the polished diorite, just to make it a little bit more fun, make it pop, make it pop a little bit. Um, I didn't think I would like these chains so much as a uh, as a base. Uh, you notice we've used them, we've used them here as a base on this table, and then we've used them as a base here for the lights. And it, it really looks good. It looks like wrought iron. Um, we tried, I tried iron bars, and it just, it wasn't thick enough. Um, they sort of became invisible, and it looked like you had a floating lantern there, and didn't want that. Uh, now, I love how we're outside the flower shop here. I love how the flowers, uh, again, just make it pop. Just bring out uh, some of the reds in the bricks. Now, I did use some of the pink flowers throughout, but I didn't use too many. I really felt like a lot of the reds really, uh, really tied into the bricks. And then you notice what I did here. Instead of just doing straight roses, uh, popped in some two tall ferns. And it makes it look like, oh, well, maybe these are some rose bushes that have been trimmed back. And there you have it. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love this. I, I, I want to be back in this world now. I'm, I'm excited not only to get working inside the mansion, but here if we take a look out back, uh, we're planning on tearing all of this forest down. And even though we've done some flowers in the front, the plan is to make all of this a huge, huge garden. Uh, we'll put a maze in here. We'll do all the things you do in the garden of a, uh, of a mansion. So there you have it. One more, one more look from up above. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's land down here and have a seat. Hey, thanks for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe. Uh, it sure will help this channel to grow. And I'd love to be back with you building more here in Adventures in Minecraft.